before I had my breakdown, I was very much like, I know everything. Like I worked in marketing for eight years. Like there's no way that this guy who, you know, used to be a carpenter and has now built a business that earns way more money than me. Like that was kind of something that I just like, was like <laughs> just crediting. I was hey guys, I just wanted to shoot a quick video for you to show you how Ella has gone from $2,000 a month to around $20,000 a month in eight months since joining the Lifestyle Consultant Program. So she has made some key decisions in order to get her to $20,000 a month. And so the first thing that we had to work on with Ella is to get her to focus on one single market. So narrow her focus to one target market, one specific niche. She was working with um, kind of anyone that would take her services, you know, anyone that she thought she could help, she'd sign them up and then she'd go at it and try and get the results for her marketing business. And this is time consuming because for each client that you take on, you have to do the research, understand their market, um, and then try and develop something for them that's going to work. Rather than if you narrow your focus to one target market and understand fully that market, understand fully that niche, then you can actually come to that marketplace, come to that niche with knowing their business probably better than they know their own business and knowing their marketplace better than, their, better than they think they know their marketplace. So you can actually come to businesses with an amazing offer that they can offer the marketplace. Having learned about the power of the niche from you, I was like, I can become the retreat person and I can roll out 25 of these campaigns. It was so cool <laughs> to see you like, implement that strategy for that client and then just to see the results rolling pretty fast. Eh? You... As soon as we went to market and as soon as the leads started coming in, I kind of sat back in like disbelief and I was like, I've done it. So for Ella, she chose to work with retreat centers and she went to the market and she put our framework in place to do lead generation and to fill retreats um, and she studied the marketplace so she fully understood who the consumer was who the clients were of that niche of the particular retreat that she was working with she understood the language and, and all the um, nuances and the things that that market was afraid of or that market was avoiding or that market was excited about and then she wrote a great um, sales letter and implemented a funnel that we teach in the Lifestyle Consultant and she filled the retreat. She filled two retreats actually <laughs> within a very short time of about, the first retreat was done in about two weeks and the second retreat was done in about a month. Um, so she got fantastic results for that client. And what she did from there was she duplicated what she had created for that client and she did it for another retreat and then another retreat and then another retreat. And just suddenly this, this world that I'd created over here with this campaign just felt really good. And I knew that I could replicate it. And the systems that I built for that particular campaign could literally be copy and pasted with a new message for a different client on top. Mm. Um, and that was super cool. That was super cool. So another thing that she had to go through as well was to stop saying yes to clients and get laser focused. The focus thing was interesting because once I got results for that client, I kind of got confident, right, about being able to deliver client value to the marketplace. And I'd understood through my breakdown that the only way that I could be happy was by delivering value to the world, like showing up in a way that made the world a better place in some way. And so I got so much fulfillment from that, that honestly, the landscape just changed me. I was like, only more of that. So... One of the things for Ella is she was, as I say, she was working with a lot of different clients, working with a diff lot of different niches and things like that. Um, and she would have people come to her and say, hey, can you help me out with this? And often she would be like, yep, okay, and sign them up and then try and figure out the thing. Um, but once she started to narrow her focus and just worked with the retreat space and said no to everybody else, even though in the short term she may have missed out on some business, it actually freed up her mind and gave her space to think about um, how, how she could attract her next client and actually just implement the, implement the strategies that we teach to attract the next client. And so that was the next thing really for her. Once she got her first client on board, she needed a predictable lead to start generating some new clients. She needed to bring in new clients so she could duplicate her system. So she implemented our system in 
finding new clients. And one of the great ways that we do that is we go on to LinkedIn and we can refine our target market down very specifically to, for example, Ella for retreat spaces. And then she would send them out a personalized video um, detailing a few of the things that we teach um, to show them that, hey, you're making some mistakes in the way that you're doing your marketing and we can help you improve and implement a system that will actually work for you. And then this, the number four is having a sales script that's going to predictably um, find and bring on your um, prospects. So you're going to be having phone calls with people that may or may not be a good fit for you. You hope they are a good fit, but you need to diagnose whether or not they're actually going to be your perfect client because you need to be selective in this process because the ones that you bring on, you want them to be your perfect prospects so you know you can deliver a great result for them. And most people just sort of jump on the phone and they've kind of had maybe a little bit of, read a little bit about um, some sales training or something like that, but they don't actually have a proper script and a journey that they take their clients through. And most people end the call with, okay, I'll send you a proposal or something like that. And the biggest thing is, is that you need something that's going to predictably convert that prospect into an actual customer if they are a good fit. So you need a sales script to convert your prospects into customers. And that's what Alice started to implement, and that was a real game change for her. I remember you asking me, I was like, oh, I just got a, like, a new client, like somebody that's interested, I haven't signed them up yet. And you were like, oh, like, why not? And I was like, oh, I'm sending out a proposal. And you were just like, why are you doing that? <laughs> I was like, oh, that's how we do it in the marketing, you know, the agency industry. And you were like, that's not what I do. And I was like, oh, maybe I should see what he does. <laughs> um, and you, I remember you gave me the sales script um, and I looked at it and I was like, this makes a lot of sense to me. I used to work in sales back in the day and I was like, this makes a lot of sense. I think I can give it a go. And, um, and it, I, you know, I was any way that I could make my systems better. I think my process is better. I was open to, and I really was from a mindset perspective, just like maybe there is a better way to do things. You know, maybe I don't know what I'm doing and maybe that's okay. It doesn't mean I'm a failure. Maybe if I'm a failure, if I don't take the advice of the people around me, so let me give it a go. And I will never forget Scott, when I signed that client up on the phone and I came running into your study and I was like, ah, <laughs> like I got it. I got and then the next big one is onboarding and setting expectations for your clients. And you basically said to me, do you have an onboarding system and a way to like roll out results for this client? And I remember in that moment, my ego was like, yeah, you do. <laughs> like, of course you do. You have an agency. And I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. And I just took a moment and I was like, do you, do you want to do this? Like, do you want to go down that path of like isolating yourself from the world and not actually growing? Or do you want to like learn and grow and, and do this for real. And luckily that voice overruled. And I was like, Scott, I have no idea what I'm doing. Like, mm -hmm. please can you help me? And you gave me, you know, what's essentially like the course, right? You gave me that stuff. You gave me the SOPs, the onboarding process, the three month roadmap. And I, I remember the next, I was just like, oh my God, this is it. And the next six hours I like built my, a framework of an agency that I hadn't had nothing, you know, mm -hmm. but, that and that was really the turning point where I was like oh wow there is a way to kind of systemize and and actually like this can this doesn't have to feel terrifying and I don't yeah. have to be anxious all the time. Setting expectations is a really big one uh, within the lifestyle consultant we teach people how to onboard people with a three-month roadmap so we actually map out and show them what we're going to be implementing for them for a marketing strategy how things are going to be built out so they have full transparency around how we're going to start generating the leads or for Anella's case, filling their retreats. And that's really important because in the digital marketing world, there's not a lot of transparency and there's a lot of companies that have kind of taken advantage of business owners and kind of bamboozled them with a lot of techno um, language that the business owners end up going, okay, you just take care of it and then they get really bad results. So if you can be very transparent in how you're going to deliver the results, um, then that's a really important component of kicking off your relationship with your clients um, on a good foot. And then obviously we want to deliver the dream come true experience. And when Ella implemented the frameworks that we're teaching and she understood the market really well and she spoke to her clients, customers in a way that compelled them to actually come to the retreat, then she actually did deliver a dream come true experience for her first client. 
And that client then went on to give her a fantastic testimonial and also um, has referred her a lot of business since. And ask for referrals, you know, ask for a testimonial because all that's going to go into the back end of your, um, of your marketing machine. So once you refine your niche and you can deliver a good result and you've got a predictable way to get new leads and a predictable way to get sales and you've got a good system in place that you can actually deliver a really good result, then you have a business that is completely scalable. So it took Ella probably about five to six months to actually nail down what the niche is going to be, how she was going to deliver it, um, refine her sales skills, refine her lead generation skills. But once she had those things in line, um, she can now predictably grow and scale her business. And she's actually gone from 2,000 to 20,000, but it's actually only in the last sort of two to four months that she's gone from, I think it probably about 5,000 to 20,000. So once you start getting these things lined up, then you can actually scale your business um, incredibly fast. And so she's now going through the process as well of, of hiring people to fulfill the work for her, which is another key component. Um, which we talk about in the Lifestyle Consultant. So if you um, are in the digital marketing world or you're a freelancer and you're delivering a service at the moment and maybe you know that you're saying yes to too many people or maybe you haven't thought about how to niche down or what specific markets would be the best markets to work with, um, then jump on the free training. I've got a case study that you can check out and it's just goes through some of the details of my journey and how I started my digital agency and how I managed to go from builder to digital owner, digital agency owner, and then how some of my students in the lifestyle consultant have done the same thing and how Elle has gone from 2000 a month to 20000 a month. So um, click the link and check it out.